Crystal, you've been to two Olympic Games and I don't know any boat you haven't sailed on and even uh, you tried the Olympic windsurfing for a while. What brings you to hobby? Yeah, you know, like uh, I really like to try new things and explore different ways of sailing and also to have a lot of fun with my sailing and you know, the Hobie Cat is awesome fun. You get to sail with good people and the class is just fun. So it's a nice little break from doing the laser, which is the, you know, the class that I do professionally. You are the experienced hobby sailor and she's, uh, she's learning. Yeah. yeah, but she's the experienced <laughs> sailor. So between the two of us, we balance it out. So there's no fighting of, you know, the hobby style you should do it this way and Olympic style you should do it that way or? No, no, I think, you know, what I bring to it is a bit of the strategy and the, the big picture strategy really.
strong win, you're absolutely dominant. But uh, today it's a little different story. Yeah, exactly. We are uh, surprised too. We, we didn't think it would be uh, like this. Uh, mainly because there is as well uh, guys like Orion and uh, Jérôme Le Gall, which are really fast in a strong wind too. It's low condition today, but I think we are quite all right in low condition too. After more, one more race, we have two discards, so you just need to be safe and uh, sail around the course safe, not to make uh, big mistakes and you should be fine. Yeah, it's more or less the target, but I think we still try to, to win a race and then uh, maybe go and play a bit with uh, Orion and uh, Jérôme. Congratulations, félicitations à tous.